Hello everybody, today we are going to look at gram positive cocci and these are bacteria that retain crystal whited instead of taking up the counter stain safranin hence they appear purple under the microscope right at the gram stain so in this lecture we will focus on on this particular genus here, streptococcus but before we actually go through streptococcus we will go, go through enterococcus very briefly so enterococcus or enterococci plural is a genus of lactic acid bacteria why are we going through this particular genus in this lecture is because they are quite difficult to distinguish from streptococci based on physical characteristics alone but uh, take note that the enterococci are actually gram positive cocci that uh, are a genus of lactic acid bacteria often occurring in pairs, diplococci or short chains. Uh, a bit about its history, once upon a time enterococcus were actually classified as group D streptococcus until 1984. That's when genomic DNA analysis suggested a separate genus classification would be appropriate. So enterococci are in chains, they are gram-positive cocci and grows in 6.5% so sodium chloride, salt agar, catalase negative and bile resistance. And the two species which are common commensals in the human intestines are enterococcus physalis and enterococcus physium. Colonies of enterococcus. Uh, enterococcus under the microscope, some are diplococci, some take uh, the appearance of short chains. Enterococci are aerobic, causes urinary tract infections, UTI and sepsis, endocarditis in patients with previously damaged heart valves. So now we will move on to streptococcus so the first bacteria in this genus is streptococcus pyogenes streptococcus pyogenes are in chains they are gram positive cocci they exhibit beta hemolysis on blood agar and form large colonies so beta hemolysis is actually complete hemolysis of blood so the media around and under the colonies appear lightened yellow and well transparent. They are catalyst negative, PYR positive and CAMP negative. So a bit about the PYR test. The PYR test was is des was designed for presumptive identification of group A streptococci and enterococci by determining the presence of the enzyme L pyrolidinyl arylamidase. A bit about the CAM test now. Um, the CAM test is actually a test used to identify group B beta streptococci based on the formation of a substance called the CAM factor that enlarges the area of hemolysis. They are lens filled group A and can be typed with latex agglutination. So, a bit about the lens filled test as well. So the lens field test is a serological classification of beta hemolytic streptococcal bacteria. So the lens field group, grouping was developed by Rebecca Lensfield. It's, ba it's actually based on the carbohydrate composition of uh, bacterial antigens found on their walls. So here we have streptococcus pyogen colonies on blood agar exhibiting beta hemolysis. Streptococcus pyogenes under microscopic view. Streptococcus pyogenes, they are aerobic, causes pharyngitis, scarlet fever, toxic shock, sepsis, necrotizing fasciitis, and skin infections, spreading cellulitis, impetigo, erysipelas. Sequelae includes uh, rheumatic fever and glomerulonephritis. The virulence factors are as follows the M protein, lipoticoic acid enzymes and toxins.
Next, bacteria Streptococcus pneumoniae. Streptococcus pneumoniae are lancet-shaped diplococci. They are gram-positive cocci and exhibit alpha hemolysis on blood. Colonies are usually dome-shaped and colonies with a depressed center. The, the center, depressed center may appear mucoid. So, a mucoid colony is actually a colony showing viscous or sticky growth typical of an organism producing large quantities of a carbohydrate capsule. Streptococcus, streptococcus pneumoniae are bile-soluble, um, sensitive to optogen, catalase negative and PYR negative. Uh, new felt capsular swelling reactions a method used to detect pneumococci in sputum or cerebrospinal fluid CSF streptococcus pneumonia this is uh, this area exhibits uh, exhibits alpha hemolysis so alpha hemolysis is also known as green hemolysis which is the partial hemolyt hemolysis of blood and the agar and the colony which usually appears dark and greenish streptococcus pneumoniae and the microscopic view streptococcus pneumoniae are aerobic they are facultative anaerobes they are in the number one cause for community acquired pneumonia pneumonia also causes meningitis, sinusitis, otitis media, mastoiditis, arthritis, peritonitis, and conjunctivitis. At least 84 capsular serotypes and disease caused mostly by the low numbers. Next, streptococcus mutants. Streptococcus mutants are in chains or short rods. They are gram-positive cocci. And on blood agar, colonies are often hard and adherent. Strains produce beta or gamma hemolysis. They are bile asculin negative. A bit about the bile asculin test. So the purpose of the bile asculin test is to isolate and identify uh, bacteria able to hydrolyze asculin in the presence of bile. Streptococcus mutans also uh, does not grow in 6.5% sodium chloride. Strepto colonies of streptococcus mutants streptococcus mutants under microscopic view streptococcus mutants are aerobic uh, the viridans group streptococci causes dental caries they are able to produce acid from a wide variety of carbohydrates and they produce water soluble and insoluble polysaccharides from sucrose Next, bacteria streptococcus anginosus. Streptococcus anginosus are in chains, they are gram positive cocci. Growth is frequently enhanced in the presence of 5% carbon dioxide, and some strains are anaerobes. Uh, so they form small pinpoint colonies and are described as having a distinct odor that is buttery or caramel like. Streptococcus anginosis not and not uh, this is supposed to be a u not an i anginosis is pyr negative and camp negative and can be lansfield grouped a c f g or non groupable streptococ colonies of streptococcus anginosis streptococcus anginosis under microscopic view streptococcus anginosis mostly are aerobic Group includes uh, Streptococcus anginosus, Streptococcus constellatus, and Streptococcus intermedius. Together, form oral and, and genitourinary uh, flora and are isolated from the, the GI tract, the gastrointestinal tract. Clinically, are associated with purulent infections at oral and non oral sites. Next bacteria, Streptococcus boys. I think this is this is the final bacteria in this uh, slide. So Streptococcus boys are in chains. They are gram-positive cocci. They are group D non-enterococcus. 
their catalase negative, bile acetylene positive, optogene susceptible, susceptibility negative, and their bile their bile solubility negative. St colonies of Streptococcus bowies. Streptococcus bowies under microscopic view. Streptococcus bowies are aerobic. Bacteremia caused by Streptococcus bowies, especially biotype 1, is associated with malignancies of the gastrointestinal tract. Also causes endocarditis and meningitis. Uh, that's all for today. Thank you.